I'm Hideo Date, jazz and blues guitarist in Berkeley, California. Today's lesson is Lick of the Day number 5. So let's get started with the tuning. I have been using 432 hertz tuning from high E string to low E string. So let's check with E chord and open position. Also check with the G chord and open position. So today's lick is another uh, very common lick, um, mostly playing on the E and E7 chord. We're going to transpose this to another key as well. Okay, the first an E7 chord and key of E, we will play in a fourth fret D string and a third fret um, B string, and we're going to slide half step. And the key of, in the key of E, I'm going to include the E open string so that the three finger picking here and a very quick um, slide from fourth fret D string to the second fret and open G string and resolving to the D string uh, E note on the second fret. And quickly going to shuffle. Take a look on the interval here. Um, that's the fifths here on G string and sevenths, five and seven, and um, um, the top note of the root, and then sliding from the fifths to the, the fourths, and the open is the minor third, and resolving to the root, the E note. Okay, let's move it to the A chord now, A7 chord in the key of A. Now A, we can include the E open here, or we don't have to play them, just to... You have two choices here. And also, um, this the minor third become fretted note, so you can apply a little bending or not, just up to you. You don't have much time here to apply the bending, so that I just do a little bit. Okay, so that fret here is the um, from the G string to the B string. It's the uh, nine eight, and then three time. Quickly going back to seven uh, uh, nine to seven, and the five and seventh fret the uh, D string. If it's slower, you can apply more bending, but with this speed, it's pretty difficult to do. going to this shuffle with the second fret the index finger and the fourth fret the um, ring finger on the D string with the A open bass. This one's for A and let's take a look on the D7 chord and the key of D. We're going to use the open D bass. position here for the D is a 14 and 13 here and then sliding down from 14 to 12 and a 10th fret resolving to the 12th fret D string. And a shuffle for the D is actually the, the second fret the D, G string and the fourth fret G string and the D open bass. I'm holding that my D chord like this just in case, you know, so that the high two strings won't ring out. Okay, 
let's take a look at the other um, key, um, G, in key of G. The position is a 7th fret and 6th slide, and a 7 to 5 slide, and a 3, 5, and a 3. And I'm going to just use this um, shuffle spot here. 3, 5 to start, and the pinky on the 7th fret. Like that. And the same thing happens on F. F, the 2 frets below, at the 5, 4. This uh, shuffle is uh, more stretched than G here. Okay, um, so how about C here on the eighth fret? Um, we're gonna start it out with the uh, 12 fret and 11, 12, 11, and then 12 to 10 slide and 8, 10. C. So we covered up many keys here so that um, you can use you know in between key like A flat or G, um, G flat, whatever, you could just figure them out. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you again next video, lick of the day, the blues lick of the day, number six.